Okay. That got me fucked up. Um, it's me, Lorette. Oh my god, sidetrack. The other day I got a comment telling me to straighten my hair. And I have never in my life straightened my hair before, so I wanted to see what the fuck was gonna happen. I knew there wasn't anything good that was gonna happen out of that because, bitch, look at me. Cause you're not that cute, and your hair is uneven. You look dusty. Nothing ever good happens to me. I just felt like it was time. I felt like it was like something I had to do. I'm gonna stop him right there. Bitch, this should have been the last thing you did. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, it's giving very much. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation, no breathing. As you guys can tell by the title, this is going to be a responding to hate comment video. <laughs> So back in the day when my YouTube journey just started, you know, I was new to the block. I didn't really receive much hate, but then, you know, I started hanging out with, um, the... And let's just say it just went down from there. But no, seriously, no matter who you are or what you do, people are gonna find a reason not to like you and will talk shit about you. That's how life works. It's fucking weird. See, I don't really focus on the hate, you know? I'm really all about focusing on the positive things, which is y'all, and I know how this is gonna sound corny as f I literally would not be here without y'all. Like, I would probably be, like, in college depressed or something, but now I'm, like, a YouTuber depressed, but it's okay. But I really do appreciate the love and support, and I know this is soft, and I hate being soft because I hate showing emotion, but I honestly really appreciate y'all because y'all literally bring me happiness when I'm fucking sad, and I'm always sad. And I'm more confident in myself than I've ever been, and that's only because of y'all. Like, you literally tell me that I'm pretty every day, even though I know you're lying, because I'd be looking like shit, and y'all be like, yes, queen, slay her, mama. But before I even, uh, do I even have to say it? I feel like we're here. You know, we see each other. I see you. We good. Okay. We good. I see. We see each other. We see each other. You've been here multiple times. You know the drill, guys. Starbucks. Let's go. Yeah, that's it. It's 11.36 a.m. I need something to wake me up, but I want something vibey. I need some, like, Conan Gray, like, Casey Musgrave stuff in this bitch. I want something indie. Can we just all agree that the world is just so negative? I feel like we need to spread more positivity in this world. You know what I mean? So do your part today and just comment down that I look pretty. Thanks. Check this out. A boxing match, right? Pay-per-view and all of that. And the first opening match is me versus James Charles. Now, <laughs> I want all the sisters smoke. There, I said it. That's not even the main pitch. Ready? Then the second final match, Miss Olivia Rodrigo versus Sabrina Carpenter. I want to see it. There, I said it. I don't know if their beef is real or if this is like a PR stunt, but I will say, and I'm biased because I like both of them so fucking much. If I made a song pouring out my heart talking about some... That blonde bitch made me insecure. And then the blonde bitch made a song saying, and I did, what about it? And I still got your man. <gasps> Miss Olivia, if you don't get your driver's license, get in your vehicle and run that bitch over. I'm just thinking like if I was Olivia and someone made a song like that about me, oh, I would be driving past your street. Mm -hmm, I would drive past and then it would turn into a drive by. Wait, guys, let me go. Let me go, I'm gay and black. I said I found chicken, wow, wow. That's what my baby says, man, wow, wow. And my heart started pumping. I have to pee first. You said forever, now I drive alone past your street. Hi, we're home. How are you? I'm Larry, nice to what? You wanna know what the gag is? I already tried to film this video. You don't believe me? Check this out. You see this? This is me, two days ago, trying to film this exact video, but you wanna know why I didn't get to finish it? Bitch, I'm a motherfucking cancer. I am a cancer, which means, uh, wait, why am I literally being that bitch? Oh my gosh. I'm literally that bitch at parties that be like, what's your zodiac sign? I am a Gemini, my rising's a Virgo. Like, shut up. But no, seriously, I'm a cancer, so my feelings can hurt a little bit. But the second gag, mm. what the fuck is this? Bitch, it takes a lot to hurt my feelings, you know, especially since I'm like, <laughs> gay and black. It takes a lot to just really get me there because bitch, I got a lot of trauma in the back of my head, so I'm a strong bitch. My trauma has me strong and ready to go. But yesterday when I was filming this video, I stumbled across a comment and that comment said, is it just me or Larray looks like a shrimp that shops at Urban Outfitters? What? What does that even mean? A shrimp that shops at Urban Outfitters? Bitch! Bitch. But I'm past that, you know, I'm all about taking a leap and moving forward. So we're going to continue this video. We're going to retry it. And this time I'm going to try not to get my feelings hurt. So let's begin. <laughs> Horrible and gay. Oh. I think she just gave me a cute little nickname. Thank 
Thank you. He looks like the gay Emily Chapa. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the gay Inelie Chapa. I mean, let me ask the audience. If you don't know who Inelie Chapa is, he's like one of those like, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No. Like those, you know? He's like a hood rapper or something. Mm -hmm. You sound like a girl, it's disgustingly annoying. Is this better for you? Sure. <laughs> Bitch, not me going from Lorraine to corpse. Back it up, Dark Vader. You're too gay. Bitch, your name is Jakisha, shut up. Bitch, I may be gay, but at least my name doesn't sound like an STD. Wait, okay, I feel bad now. Suck a dick and die. Ogie, girl, I'm gay. That's like telling me to breathe. I can't stand this ugly, dumb, gay bitch. You know what? I may be ugly, dumb, and a bitch, but I am not gay. Wait, what? You <laughs> said that's so wrong? Redo. You know what? I may be a dumb, gay, ugly bitch. Wait, what? <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, this one's creative. The Black People versus Lorraine. Charges, whitewash, token black friend, being unfunny. Verdict, guilty as fuck. Case closed, next case! So I came across this Reddit page. It's like a thread of people just having conversations about topics. And the topic of this thread is my lovely, scrumptious, white Caucasian, white man John Smith boyfriend in the other room. Hey baby, I love you. The conversation of the thread is basically about how attractive my boyfriend is. But then it turns into a thread constantly bashing me for my looks and why he's with me. But um, kill! <laughs> Somebody posted on this thread, how did LeRae even manage to snatch such a snack? He's ugly. And then someone quote tweeted that response and said, money and internet fame. This motherfucker is way too sexy to be clapping the cheeks of that ugly ass bitch Lorette. Let me just quickly respond to every single gay on this website that are constantly bashing me for my looks and my relationship. There's a huge difference between y'all and me. And that is, while you guys are sitting on this page worried about my relationship, I'll be sitting somewhere else, preferably a Quite frankly, we aren't the same, and most definitely not in the same tax bracket. So, enjoy sleeping alone tonight. Good luck on Grinder. Trump hates gays. Trump also lost. This f***ing reminds me of James Charles. Hey, hey, straight boys, up here. I understand your brain capacity can only take so much of the gay community because you have the brain size of a fucking pea. Just because a homosexual man talks flamboyant or wears makeup doesn't make him James Charles. Oh my god! Y'all are so dumb. Like, what if I just kept putting straight men in the same category as a pile of shit? Eh, they are the same, bitch. I know he's black, but he's giving very much Michael Jackson tees. <laughs> I don't know how y'all enjoy his content. He's so annoying. Aww. That follow back button is so cute. Can we get a forehead reveal? Damn. <laughs> Every day I'm getting comments about wanting a forehead reveal. I feel like I can be 100% authentic with y'all if I'm just not living my true self. So I feel like it's just time at this point. And I feel like we're family now. So I'm gonna do it. You know, fuck it. I'm gonna what? We'll send it, you know? Um, hey. Uh... Oh my God, I can't believe I'm gonna fucking do this. I'm actually gonna do it. One, two, oh! This is crazy. One, two, three. So are we going to ignore the fact that Lorraine locked Issa in the dungeon just to hang out with Charlie D'Amelio and James Charles? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Let me clear this narrative because a lot of people think I ditched him to go hang out with that high pop bitch. Issa moved back at home to go focus on himself and be near his family and we're still best friends. We still talk every day, weirdos. Ravon, where's Issa? At home. Are we still friends with him? Yeah, we talk to him every day. Now shut up! Is it just me or Lorraine got super unfunny and annoying after he joined the Hype House? Just say you hate the Hype House and go about your day. I'm gonna say this one time and one time only. I am still the same bitch. No amount of money, no amount of clout, no amount of anybody can change that. The only thing that has changed about me is that I'm growing up as an adult and I have baby fever. That's literally it. <laughs> is it just me or Lorraine turned white? How the fuck I do that? You know what, if the internet says I'm white, bitch, I must be white. So it's no longer Lorraine to y'all. It's Lance the third daughter. <laughs> Lorraine, I'm not gay, but I totally will let you eat my, okay. You know what, we're done for today. Hey. Hey. Best friend of the tour. Best friend of the fuck you. <laughs>